Mike, this is a game called uh, Thomas Was Alone. I have wanted to play this with you for four years. What's with this backlog? It's, uh, I have a thing on my phone, it's pretty large. This I bought this on Steam originally, and I saw it was on the Switch, which is much more accessible and easy for me to set up. This is a really interesting... The program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coder started adding name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas AT23612 wasn't special. It was just an AI in the right place at the right time. This is a story was that uh, mixes mechanics with identity and the idea of being a shape. And I apologize for the audience, but a lot of this is this guy's narration talking about Thomas as if you were an actual person. What? Okay, uh, continue. Let's see how this goes. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good... That's one of the problems that he talks longer than the, the stage takes to do. It's one of the creepy things about, um, yeah, of self-learning programs that you can use to finish a task that is too complicated for a human. One of the drawbacks is that sometimes the AI will finish the task, but you have no idea how they did it. Well, if you if you want to automate something, most most people don't care how it was done. Which is like, but like say, um, sometimes, for example, computers are now being used to uh, finish mathematical proofs. Yeah. Oh, to the point where like, how, how do we check the proof? Cause... Like, we know it's true, we just don't know why. <laughs> yeah, that, that's some E to the I pi shit. Uh, we found out this is correct, but we've learned nothing <laughs> besides yes. The universe and logic says yes. Uh-oh. Oh, water's bad. Also, this game ran like ass on my very old laptop two laptops ago, so. I really want, what's that YouTuber, is it Codeblock? Or the one who programs Cold the AI. Yeah, yeah. I want, I want him to program an AI to play this game. He can't, because it's, it's like a very complex game. It wouldn't work. So far, you've just been moving to one spot. Uh, you would think. But like, th that requires- Just a couple levels. Oh, sure, a couple levels. Yeah, sure, walk to the end. That's some Mario shit. Just do Mario, because it gets better clicks. Oh, good, Johnny. Thank you. I'm You're Thomas. getting reward points. Look at my little, look at my little, uh, my, a little bit of squash and stretch whenever I jump. Oh, look who's learning. It's good. Me, we won't, square. We won't tase your balls this time. Why would that be a teaching tool? Do you want to get tased in the balls? <sighs> no. Well, good. Then do better. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told that idiot that this would happen. Overlapping scripts, more than one AI was bound to be spawned into an air environment at some point. Uh, it turns out I missed the point. That little error changed everything. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell Ooh, did this racist think he was? Oh, wait, we gotta be on the other sides of each other. I can jump, okay. There we go. Oh no! Now we have to work together because he can't get up. He's too short. Oh, what a fun game this is. And they learn to work together and you start like learning about each other and... He's the Gomer Pyle of rectangles. Private rectangle, if you do not fucking get up my obstacle, I will shit down your... I will shit down your vertices. Strap him to the bed, hit him with a bunch of socks filled with other rectangles. Oh my god, try it. Dude, imagine if I smacked you with, uh, pointies. No! Okay, get get out of that. I gotta, I gotta be there. Now you have to make the journey alone. Please Sad. don't hit me with isosceles triangles. Oh, dude, that would stab you. See, he, he appeared to have... Son of a bitch. He appeared to have, like, m muscular damn... Like, like, he was struggling, like, after they hit him with all the socks. There's something about, um... Getting hit with socks. <laughs> The, the, there are several instances in fiction in which people get hit by stuff that, it, like, to convey the pain of something you wouldn't normally think of, ow, that would fucking hurt. There's a, there's a novel I read, I think it's called The Lime Twig, in which a, um, a gangster starts beating up this woman. Um, it's, it's a terrifying scene, but he just, all he does is he gets a, um, a newspaper 
and makes it a little damp and beats the shit out of her with it. And it's the most horrifying thing. And it doesn't leave as many bruises. But oh, it, it hurts like fuck. It doesn't leave, aww. <sighs> it made me really sad. Oh, watch, when I switch now, I can, Never mind. I was gonna say when I switch now, I can, there we go. So I have to get down and then he has to get on top of me. It's a whole thing. See, it's like you're, you're learning about the, the game. Like that's a fucking tutorial. You're like, oh, we have to work together. We have different skills despite only being four-sided objects. How nuts is that? Next time Chris fucks up, remember, socks and soap and wet newspaper. I, that, I'll been, learn them. I really apologize for saying this, but uh, I was in, in researching our Halloween uh, podcast series. Uh, I was look. I was reading. I've been reading a lot of lists about the most fucked up movies ever made, or most disturbing movies, and uh, I came across one. That was based on the real life death of. Can I move while I'm on this? Nice. Uh, the maybe. Oh, he has to press the button. Okay, got it. Maybe if I get on top of him, he moves, and then I can jump. Yeah. Um, the real life like nineteen. I think it was eighty-seven kidnapping of a uh, kidnapping, rape, torture, and uh, eventual murder of this girl who was 17 years old by uh, some teens who were affiliated with the Yakuza in Japan. Uh, and it is, uh. there's an extraordinarily lengthy um, article about uh, what they did to this girl and it's very upsetting. And uh, what's the end of my story? Welcome to Consciousness, Thomas and Chris. This is what you can think about. Is that the name of the orange? I think it's Thomas and Chris, isn't oh, it? Oh, good. Oh, they're your sons, your sons, your brothers. Why is it called Thomas Was Alone if oh, you like, immediately uh, uh, well, meet Chris? Clearly the, clearly the red one is Thomas because yeah. he's the name of the thing. But you almost immediately meet Chris. Yeah, I didn't know that the orange one was named Chris. I'm making fun of this because this guy... But is, the title is Thomas Was Alone. I understand that Thomas <laughs> is the name of the red one. And I understand now because you said it that Chris is the name of the orange one. What I'm laughing at is that those are your brother's names. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't correcting you. I'm, I'm not criticizing you. I'm criticizing the title. Of the game. Oh, yeah, so Thomas is no longer alone. Got it. Okay. I got you, fam. What a mess that would be. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of fucked up shit like that. But when we, we want to do a body horror Halloween, by we, I mean me and Mike has been gracious enough to trust me to make uh, good art shit instead of just torture porn over and And there are and some I do legitimately want to watch. Um... Uh, the fly, the thing, yeah, Tetsuo the Iron Man, and then like uh, like more schlocky shit like Raw or Human Centipede. There's if you Google like notable body horror, there's way more than you think there are. It makes you a little uncomfortable. And some that, well, like I was mentioning, um, Huck. like it, Huck. you can consider Alien a body horror, but you it's can. not. It's not really usually grouped with it. No, I guess not. But, uh, there is, um, Dead Meat Podcast recently did a really interesting episode called Is It Horror? They, Chelsea posted, uh, 25 movies on her Twitter with a vote bar that says, is this horror? And by is this horror, I mean, can you, would you consider this horror it by itself or among other things? It was shit like, uh, Alien, Joker, uh, Jurassic Park, Jaws. Mm -hmm. It gets really, uh, it gets really complex. I died. It gets really complex uh, later in the game. It's like, you don't know. And also, they didn't really want to get to, a, like, a conclusion about what... Oh, fun! I, I started the raft. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't... It would have to, I mean, I don't want to be like, oh, it has to have some sort of merit, you know, like... But, you know, it should. Because, I mean, what... How how snuffy does, should a movie get before it's basically <laughs> snuff? Somebody had posted on this eight thing, on this eight layer thing of fucked up movies that get more fucked up as you go down the, the chart. Like, okay, one through three disturbing movies. Anything four and above is just a person with mental illness talking about stuff they like. <laughs> Which is really fucked up. And I, I don't know, I want fucked up shit in my life is a thing I just said. I, I guess it, it, the definition can't be oh just as scary because there are horror movies that people don't find scary. Is there a is there a non horror body horror despite the fact that body horror is a word? Mm. I mean, that's a good question. It's not like there's a horror comedy. There's no there's no body comedy. 
I guess that's just slapstick then. Um, well, anything that realistically portrays illness, um, there's something horrifying about sickness and death. <laughs> but just, <laughs> but just yeah. yeah, just just the reality of being an embodied person with all of its failings and stuff. The fact that we're gonna die. Yeah, Mike and I had a realization recently that hey, we're gonna die. And yeah, I just a, found this out. Yeah. Bummer, dude. <laughs> Guys, did you fucking hear about this mortality thing? Spoilers, fuck. Okay, and we're like, the worst part about dying is not that I'm going to cease, I'm going to drop into oblivion. The worst part is that I won't get to watch movies for the 22nd century. Oh, a third character. Again, Thomas, welcome to consciousness. <laughs> you're you're going to die. You're not going to be oh, here for the they, movies for the 22nd guys, century. They named the, they named the yellow uh, rectangle after me. That's very sweet of them. So it's Thomas... Chris and John. Johnny. Okay, I am orange. I cannot jump. I cannot wall jump either. I don't know why I thought I could do that. <gasps> How would you convey body horror to Thomas? Uh, I wouldn't. Why would... I already brought sentience to... Imagine if someone truncated your corners. <gasps> and I'd roll. Do you want to roll? I mean, imagine if you were a disembodied head. Wouldn't that be fucking spooky? What happens if I fall on this? Do I, am I just stuck? Okay. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Oh, this is cool. I actually have to get my fat ass out of the way. And then I'll, I'll sit in here. And then... Does this, does this level amputate, John? No. Why would it amputate? I'm too big to be amputated. I can't get in there. Oh, you know what it is. Here, here's what it is. Is uh, I gotta click. Get him out of the way. Take John. There, there we go. go. He's, he just he just fall down. He don't get amputated. Why would you amputate John? That's sad. I think you you don't meet you don't meet a circle. You might meet other shapes. And you have to be I don't know like like what I don't know. I'm just so confused about this game because I've been thinking about body horror and and the fact that we're all gonna die. I to make this jump. Yes, look at my leaps. Son. There's like there's like mist on the lake. I'm gonna die. Ready? Watch. Boom. Eat wieners. It's happening. John can jump. I got hops. I've never had hops in my life. Aww. I opened the gateway for them. This is like nope. that short-lived Fox show, Prison Break. <laughs> I'm the star of this show. I just, it's me. Thomas was alone. I'm you the guys, Red Ranger. I don't like, I'm more of like the Amber Ranger. <laughs> like, you, look at me. I'm like a, I'm like a gross rust color. There you go. Here. I made you a stepping stool. Get up there, boy. Look at you helping change the world. Nope. I can just... John, we need you. There we go. Yeah. Good shit. Oh, yes, my stubby orange boy. You see, talking about... Chris, why are you always the weakest link here? You better be, like, the necessary key in the next one. Well, yeah, but, yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm starting to think that I hate uh, the orange one, because it's the one I constantly have to make excuses for. There you go. This is going to be, like, some hole only he can fit in. Yeah, maybe he's too dinky. I'm going to bring you all over here. Let's go! See you, Chris. Come back. Come on, Johnny, you long-legged blonde. Oh, I want to be pretty. Not. <laughs> I want to be pretty. That would be amazing. Neither long-legged nor blonde. I think Hattie Penny Tear is really pretty, but she has very, she has a very short torso. Give me a reference. I have uh, the cheerleader from Heroes. Oh, oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, that's the end of my thing. I think we're about done playing Thomas is Alone because uh, I would like a refund that he is no longer alone. I find that to be extremely disingenuous. Keyword was, but he wasn't. Oh, was. look at that! Look at that! <laughs> but like his was wasn't very long. He didn't exist for more than a few seconds before he meets somebody. Are you fucking telling me that we we can give a creature sentience, but then we have to be snarky about it by immediately giving him friends? There you go. There you go. You go. You ah, why? Yep, yep. yep. Why does that not work? I guess I think it's got to be. Uh, Maybe it's one who jumps over all the friends. What, yellow? There's a little bit of... Yes. And I want you, yellow, over... And then you can... Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay, good. That was fairly satisfying. Like, it took a lot of brain power for me. Oh. I... Oh. Fuck you. Oh, come on. Man. There you go. Come on, then. Come on, then. Why does why does that movie own that word? I mean, if it wants it, it can take it. I'm I not going to deny it anything. I love the idea of oh fuck. I love the idea of certain phrases belonging to a movie, <laughs> and when you think about that, you're like, oh, that's what that's. I mean, that's clearly what it is. And I can't. Th 
It's one of those where, like, I don't know an example until I think of it. Must go faster. Another one. That's the one, but, yeah. Um, when, well, when, when they say batter up, that's Back to the Future 2 forever for me. I think all three of them can make that jump. You overestimate Chris. Well, fuck him then, I guess. <laughs> there we go. You next. Oh! Now he can make the, he can make this like the baby, dr- baby jump. Redeem we're yourself, gonna, Thomas. We're gonna give we're gonna give Chris a little bit of a leg up. Oh, you that lucky bastard! Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. You. Oh, we made it. Okay. No more elevators. Fuck. Hey, Chris, I need you to. You see, John, I need you. I'm sorry, I misnamed them. That's rude of me. There you go. Oh, they're learning. Oh my God, we found the ending. What a perfect place for me to fucking be done with this game. Watch like the next level it turns out that Chris can do a double jump. Fuck you. I checked just now. (laughs) Just for you, baby. What about a wall jump? I tried that. (laughs) I know, I already tried that earlier. There you go. Grappling Um, hook? A hook shot for this fucking (laughs) extremely elegant game? I I somehow doubt that. I don't want to talk to you again. I did it! Yeah, Chris, you you did it. You did it, buddy. The guy who brought snacks to Mount Everest, you are the one responsible for this. <laughs> Guys, that's been, uh, Thomas was alone. The idea of Chris as one of those tourists on the top of Mount Everest going, I did this, it is me. And John is, <laughs> is the guy who, who brings pe- 100 people up a day going, yeah, 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 yeah clean up your it. shit, please. All right, please, there's like poop all over the mountain. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Thank you.